look who's having a play date. My friends are on their way, but Henry ran in. Oh no, I hope he doesn't go behind the sofa and not want to come out. No, scratch the furniture, Henry. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yes. Wanna go eat? Here comes Tiggy. Here comes Tiggy. Well, that was a very nice little greeting. Huh, Tiggy did good. Good boys. Very good boys. Come on, my tiger. Come on. No. Come on, you come and play with Henry. Oh, I'm trying to stay nice and relaxed. Yes, Tiggy. Who's the little boy come to see you? Come on. Come on. Where's the little boys? Yes, come on, Henry. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Yes, good boy. Two good boys. Now, Tiger is laying down. So that shows me that he's not at all afraid. So that's a good thing. And Henry isn't stalking him. He's just kind of walking around. Oh, Tiger just gave a yawn. Come on, sweeties. Oh, Tiger's rolling over. You want mommy rub your belly? Mommy rub your belly? Yeah. Yeah, I rub your belly, sweetheart. Gotta keep an eye on Henry. Oh, Henry wants his belly rubbed too. What a good boy. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come on, babies. Mommy's gonna get on the floor. Let's see if mommy could get on the floor. And what these babies do. Oh, Lord. I could get on the floor, but I might not be able to get up. Sweet little boy, Tiggy. Look at Tiggy's little belly. He's got his little tabby vest. He's so cute. Oh, it's such a sweet boy. Henry, what are you after? Oh, no, he found another toy that he wants. Come on, Henry. Come on, sweetheart. Come to Mommy. I just vacuumed, and there's some kind of thread on the floor. Henry, my carpet, Henry. Please behave nice. Come on. I know, it's just instinct. But you can't play with Tiggy's toys yet. No. No. Let's see what they're going to do. All right, guys. I think I'm going to have to check in a little bit later. And maybe it'll be a little bit more interaction. But right now, they seem pretty okay with each other. So I'm happy. But I really want to have them interact more when the girls come and make sure that they're okay. Hi, sweet pea. I called the vet, but they're not in until tomorrow. So I'm hoping to take him within the next couple of days because I can't take the crying and he doesn't deserve to be outside. Yeah, he needs a mommy. So sweet. Oh, 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 oh. oh Tiger went back in his nap spot. Oh, Tiger. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Come on, Peanut. What you doing, boys? Mm. Got a lot of scratches on this. This is an antique cabinet. And you can see some of these scratches on the wood. Jeez. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, he's just wanting to entertain and play. Yeah, I'm only showing you a pause. All right. Cutting off for now. We'll be back. All right, guys, I'm waiting for two of my friends to come over. And Henry is probably going to come back in for another little play date with Tiggy. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to call the vet tomorrow and see what's happening. But we're going to be having some pizza and wings. And I will... Have you guys join the party? We got Bye. pizza from Cafe Carmela. Half of it is heating up, but this is their Mag's pizza. And it is delicious. It's like my favorite. 
And we have some wings. It's Diana, Ramona, and wings. Mm. These are the Sicilian wings and they are Ooh. yummy. Well, I forgot to vlog when my friends came over and Henry came back in to do his little play date with Tiger for round two of his play date with Tiger. But we got to talking and, you know, things were a little bit, I don't want to say chaotic, but there was a little bit of stuff going on. And, you know, they were all fawning over Henry and he just made himself right at home. So tomorrow morning I'm calling the vet and I'm going to make arrangements for him to get seen and he's staying. I mean, <laughs> it was cute because when he was in earlier, I think it's, I think it's on the video. I can't remember now. Tiger wanted to continue with his nap and he just jumped over Henry, went in his little spot by the heat vent between the sofa and the end table. And that was it. Like he just, he was okay with it. So I think it's going to work out. And this little guy is really just a sweetheart and he's got to stay. So advent calendar, I'm going to do the Saban first. And what day is this? Day 11? Day 11. So here we go. Oh, and I found day 11. Unless this is 12. No. We're up to day 12, geez. All right, I'm losing complete track of time here, guys. I feel like I'm getting senile. So here we go with day 12. And we have another, look how pretty this is. We have another long box and it's got the number 12. Am I holding that right? Yeah, okay. And let's see what day 12 has to offer. And I'm gonna go over the products tomorrow. I've loved everything that I've gotten. So today we have a two-in-one face polisher, cleanse and polish. So this is gonna be really nice. It says energizing mint, empowered with Rose of Jericho and Dead Sea Minerals. So this is gonna be like a exfoliating cleanser. And, okay, gently massage on the wet face in circular motion. Avoid eye area. Use four to three times per week. So, yeah, it's a nice cleanser and exfoliator. And since this probably has some granules, definitely not going to overdo it. I really, really love the Sisley Enzyme Peel that I have. And, Ash, I use the Rose Mask. The other night and I absolutely love it. So I'm definitely going to put this into my skincare regimen and I'll let you know how I like that one as well. I'm probably not going to use it until midway through the week next week because I don't want to use too many different things at once. And I'm going to do my exfoliating mask tomorrow so I'll use this midweek. So let's do day 12 with the chocolate calendar. And guys, I have my backup just in case. Right, Tiggy, I got a backup. What you looking for? He's exploring underneath one of the chairs. He hides his toys sometimes and then he remembers that he's got a toy someplace and he'll just obsess over it. So here we go. Wait a minute. I'm really confused, guys, because here's day 11, and I thought we were on day 12. Yeah, it is supposed to be day 11, so we'll do day 11 tomorrow on the Saban calendar. Oh, that's what happens when it's the weekend. And I didn't even have any of my chocolate whiskey tonight either. All right, here we go. Oh, and it's a realistic chocolate. And I believe that this is one of the hazelnuts. Yeah, praline and dark chocolate with hazelnuts. Piedmont hazelnuts. One day I'll tell a funny story about that because, well, let me tell the story now. So there's, there's a cheese shop in Philly called De Bruno's. And their original shop, all you Philly people know, was on 9th Street. 
And then all of a sudden they got fancy and they decided to open up a shop in Center City. And there's a couple other locations as well. But anyway, when they first opened the 18th and Chestnut spot, I was in there one day and I saw that they had Nutella and they were charging, I don't know, like triple the price for Nutella that you would find in the supermarket. So I asked, why is the Nutella here so expensive? And why is it that you could get the same jar at Target for a third of the price? And their claim to me was that the Nutella that they sold in the store was imported from Italy and it was made with Piedmontini hazelnuts. And let me just tell you, that's total, total BS. They were charging that much because they felt like charging that much. I've had Nutella and seen Nutella on supermarket shelves in Europe, okay? And it's not that expensive. And there can't be that much of a markup for the in, for the import price. This is just a place that likes to really super overcharge because they can, because they have a lot of people who go in and out of those shops who think they're getting something fancy when they're just getting something that you get in a neighborhood shop, or at least you used to be able to get in a neighborhood shop for a whole lot cheaper. But anyway, enough of that. And let me eat the chocolate. So yeah, so that's my Piedmontini hazelnut story. It's a hazelnut. There is no difference. There is a difference, however, in chocolates and the way chocolates are made. And a huge difference, as we know, between good and cheap chocolate. Mmm. This is delicious. Really, really delicious. It's like praline in a ganache. Um, just spectacular. All right, so I'm signing off for the night. I'll go back and do day 11 tomorrow on the Sabon calendar. I have a couple of fun things coming up this week. And I think you're going to enjoy seeing those. So give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and I will be seeing you very, very soon. Bye.